Hi, this is Jared Friedman from Redwood Financial Planning. In this video, I'm going to lay down some tough talk because the reality of paying your bills is not enough. Stick around. The 27th of every month, you can hear me grumbling a little bit. At some point on that day, I will be paying my household bills. Mortgage, childcare, electric, water, cable. I have a checklist to hit every single one. They go out via my bank's bill pay, then registered in my Quicken. I keep track. I'm never late. I never miss a payment. I am great at paying my bills, but who really cares? Newsflash, paying, me, paying my bills does not make me great with money. It does prove that I can follow a schedule, keep track of my money, and so forth. Go me. But that's really about it. Yes, it does prevent other things like debt from piling up, so it's important. But it is not the key to financial success. It's more of a byproduct of getting older, becoming an adult, and taking care of my family. I will continue to pay my bills and you should too. But if paying my bills on time is not the key to financial success, what is? The answer is living below your means and accumulating wealth. You see, the ultimate goal is not to be able to pay your bills, but to actually have money left over at the end of every month to save and invest for my future. If every dollar you earn, goes to paying bills, you, my friend, are not wealthy or successful and will never be able to get out of the rat race. You will continue to have to earn to pay, earn to pay, earn to pay, never ending. The truth is we all go through life seeing people driving fancy cars, wearing nicer clothes, and living in a bigger house. It's normal to get a little jealous, but the sooner you realize that not all of those people are wealthy, the better off you will be. You have to understand that some of those people are just really good at paying their bills too. And they have chosen to have higher bills than you. Now, maybe they have a higher income as well, but either way, they are just paying bills. True wealth comes from accumulating assets that will help you accomplish your goals and objectives. Cars, clothes, and overly big houses do not. To put it another way, most people think that your income determines your wealth. And I say bull crap on that. I have some clients that earn over $300,000 a year and have a hard time saving a penny, while other clients making around $100,000 a year who are able to max out their retirement accounts. Now you tell me who is more wealthy. But what really is true wealth? According to some, seeking true wealth may mean seeking deeper relationships, more personal growth, or more ways to create meaning in life. Also, achieving true wealth means possessing the ability to enjoy the small, ordinary pleasures of life. Now, this is our wonderful definitions, but unfortunately, not everyone can grasp these concepts. So in financial planning, you are truly wealthy if, number one, you have the ability to live day to day in balance with spending and saving enough to be happy. Number two, you have enough money in the bank to protect against any unforeseen emergency. Number three, you have the ability to send your children to a college of their choice, if that's important to you. Number four, you are able to make large purchases in the future that improve your quality of life without taking on any debt. And number five, you are on track to reach financial independence, whereby working is optional and not required. Accomplishing these five things over your lifetime are the true measure of wealth, in my opinion. To sum up, yes, keep paying your bills, but more importantly, take control of your financial future and stop living month to month. Paint a picture of what true wealth is to you and figure out a way to get there. I am sure just paying your bills on time will not be the solution. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was eye-opening. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you reach financial success 
And as always, have a great day.